In July of 2009, long before many present-day fans of Christian lore were even born, long before incompetent no-counts could grift to minor YouTube fame by reciting the quickie about him, and long before sadistic trolls like Isabella Janke and Sean Walker were old enough to tie themselves to a beaten-to-death horse for fame as it f***ed its mother, Christian was actually having a good time. Not only had he recently gone on a real date with a beautiful woman every bit his equal, but he scored some minor success against his theretofore indomitable trolls with a video pretending that the lore of Chris Chan and Sonichu had all been an act up to that point. Then onto the scene burst Christopher Duckworth, better known as Liquid Chris. Sporting a slender physique and charming voice, he gave Chris Chan a conniption with videos boasting of being the true Chris Chan, with the merchandise sales to prove it. This culminated in the two having a singing challenge that Liquid won, with a little help from his real-life twin brother. He left the trolling scene in August of that year under the guise of being kidnapped before briefly returning in October to conclude a love triangle with Christian by marrying Casey Devoria, and as quickly as he erupted onto the scene, he completely vanished. As someone who was there, I can tell you the allure of Liquid Chris was grand enough at the time. He was a hilarious parody done well for no real benefit to the man behind the mythos, as evidenced by his abrupt departure. But it was the later discovery that both Chris Duckworth, the primary impersonator, and twin John Duckworth, the musical mind, were successful in their private lives as a cancer survivor's turned doctor and YouTuber musician respectively, that created a mystique around Liquid Chris making him an even bigger fan favorite of newer CWC followers. There's a reason Bella invoked his name in her terrible response essay, to build commonality with fans of him. He's that unanimously loved. Now fast forward to present day, December 2023. A TikTok user by the handle C Chan Sanachu CWC Official, claiming to be Liquid, attracts the attention of Kiwi Farms and fans of YouTuber Smokey McCrack by making a YouTube handle, C Chan Sanachu CWC, identical to the original deleted account, wherein he uploads a video making fun of Cyrax, a weirdo, juggalo, sick criminal whom I will give no further attention to. The creator had been active on TikTok for a month seeking this sort of recognition, asking content creators to collaborate with him and alluding to the 20th anniversary of something engendering his return to the Christian world. A lot of people on Kiwi Farms, Reddit, and other Christian hotspots are arguing that there's no way this is the real liquid, and I merely wanted to give my two cents on the matter. One, I hope this isn't liquid. Liquid was a symbol of the good days of Christian War. He was a symbol of what trolling should always be and should always have been benign and designed to make everyone, even Chris once or twice, laugh at silliness. He was a symbol of the days that Chris was only followed by terminally online weirdos like myself who were enchanted by how close yet so far he was from the normalcy he craved. If Liquid has returned in this era of Christian being so well known that he's been featured in countless mainstream media, so well known that people sending him letters in jail are younger than Sonichu itself, and so well known that the most incompetent dregs of society seek fame and fortune by tying themselves to him, it would be dispiriting. Especially so if his primary platform is TikTok, jeez. Thought too? It probably is liquid. Just look at the guy. I see many opinions to the contrary, but people in this corner of the internet always tend to be bad with faces. Prosopagnosia is comorbid with autism, you know. He has the exact same nose. He has the same cantal tilt. His face's shape and rotundness are spot on, and the guy looks to be the perfect 32 years old he should be. The voice is spot on too. A lot of people didn't know that Liquid did actually have a high pitched voice in real life. For, uh, you're not really in charge of your own life. Some people are arguing his hair is too thin and his face looks too fat, but that's just what going from the prime of one's life to middle age will do to you. The argument that he's a doctor, so why would he do this isn't very compelling, by the way. We need to dispel with the notion that people successful in their private lives are any less weird than people unsuccessful. Trust me. Liquid did this once as a full adult for no real reason, and the greatest predictor of any behavior is past behavior. I personally theorize that he was bored, discovered TikTok, discovered how the stupidest of behavior there is rewarded the most, fell for the mind virus, and decided to resurrect his persona to have something to show for it. Obviously, none of this is compelling evidence, but there's an old saying, if it looks like a duck, walks like a duck, and quacks like a duck, it's probably a duckworth.